Hey, what's going on, you guys? Welcome back to iTrack, one of the latest reaction channels on YouTube and the most active. If you haven't been here before, what we like to do is take a look at a lot of creepy TikToks and kind of evaluate whether we think that they're facts or fake. Today's episode is a bit of a mind bender, so go ahead and strap yourself in. Let's go ahead and get into it. That in our space travels, we will encounter other forms of intelligent life. You don't have to go anywhere. You can find it here. Yeah. Where exactly? It's just like right under people's noses. It's, oh my gosh. Is it risky for you to say, you know, in public that you believe I don't in, give in a UFOs damn. and aliens? I don't care. You don't worry that some people will say, did you hear that guy? He sounds like he's crazy. I don't care. Why not? It's not going to make a difference. It's not going to change reality of what I know. She had already opened an all-girls high school in South Africa. And in 2007, a school matron named Virginia was charged with getting inappropriate with multiple girls. We arrested a former employee of, uh, who was working at Oprah Winfrey a Leadership Academy for Girls. She was arrested yesterday for several charges, including uh, assault, indecent assault, uh, as well as uh, soliciting girls under the age to commit indecent assault. And uh, she's now at the Ferenheim police cells. But despite all these scandals and controversies, Oprah managed to build a reputation as a committed philanthropist, receiving numerous awards and accolades, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2013. However, if you ask Dave Chappelle, Oprah has had us all fooled for years. See, Dave's probably- By the way, the last common ancestor for the theory of evolution, uh, you know, the ape, is named Lucy, right? The last common ancestor that we- So evolution is satanic? In a anthropology, absolutely. Charles Darwin's a satanist, right? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I was I, a little bit late on that. I, I studied anthropology in uh, college and evolution, I loved it. It was actually the hardest thing I had to let go of when I came to Christ. But then I really did my research and it's so stupid for the intermediary species and stuff. Like adaptation exists, animals changing, but going from whale to land mammal has, there's millions of intermediary, intermediary species missing there, never been found. Just like a wolf and a dog. Like when people are like, you can breed dogs with other dogs, fucking retard. But now look at this, last common ancestor named Lucy. Vatican telescope that looks at the stars, the planetarium telescope that no one's allowed to go in. It's called Lucifer. They're literally named it Lucifer. So last common ancestor is Lucifer. Everything ties back to the Bible. It's actually crazy. CIA in the 50s discussed something called the Adam and Eve story, written by a doctor named Chan Thomas back in the 50s. This details repeated destruction of mankind, and it even has the year 11,500 in it. So it basically says that there's a micronova that goes off in the earth routinely. And what it does a is- A micronova? Essentially that there's a, a, a quite literal fusion explosion and it causes continental displacement. It causes rapid movement of continents as well as um, continental sized tidal waves that just wash everything. That sounds like one of them horror movies right there thing away was there any scientific backing of this yes so what's it all right so the you know what they cite in there is those woolly mammoths that were died off in mass quantities and still had food in their mouths we just learned that mel gibson is about to release a four-part massive documentary series on the worldwide child sex trafficking ring that brings in 34 billion dollars a year in revenue 34 billion dollars in revenue just for a frame of reference, the airline industry this year, it's bounced back. It's on pace to do $22 billion in revenue this year. That's all airline companies combined. Child sex trafficking is more profitable than the airline industry. When you eat the fruit, you should eat the seed. There's a tribe of folks in northern Pakistan called the Hunza. The Hunza people never get cancer. When the tribe was first discovered, their average age was 160. The Hunza people's favorite food to eat is apricot seeds. They take the apricot seeds and squeeze them and get oil out of them. 
They put the oil on their skin, and the women don't wrinkle. They're really good looking at 70 and 80. Jason Vale uh, teaches that cancer cannot survive in a body of a person that consumes apricot seeds. Wow. Did you know bread used to strengthen your heart? They learned years ago if they take out the vitamin E, the lecithin, and the omega-3 fatty acids, they take them out of the wheat, make the bread with white flour, the bread lasts for months. But the people started dying of heart attacks and strokes and circulation problems. See, it's a simple formula. The whiter the bread, the quicker you're dead. Can't skip past that. That's wild. So this creepy video is going viral right now because his son is convinced he has an imaginary friend named the Hanging Man who visits him every night. But make sure you stick around to the end to see what they caught on camera when he was sleeping. Hello? What are you doing? Oh, really? Right. You crying? So this is the photo of the hanging man he's seen in the corner of his room. I'm going to ask him to draw it again when I've rubbed it completely off. Elliot, can you draw the hanging man for me like you did before? What if I don't let him? What if you can sleep in my room? Is that okay? Yeah. Right, so what's the what's these on his face? Tears. What's this? Um, cry. Oh, okay. Does he cry quite a lot? Now, I noticed I didn't get to watch the boy draw the picture. It just quickly flashed it to... You know the picture already done, so that's that's red flag number one. This this might be fake. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Must watch. This is the master key to wealth. It's impossible for any sincere person to practice this technique and not have all the wealth he or she needs all the days of your life. So follow it, and you're setting the law of opulence in operation. It will work for you as well as for anybody else. Your thoughts make you wealthy or poor. Choose the riches of life, right here and right now. Follow this technique which I'm going to outline for you and you'll never want for wealth all the days of your life. For it is the master key to wealth. The first step is to reason it out in your mind that God or the life principle or the living spirit is the source of the universe, the galaxies in space, and everything you see. Whether you look at the stars in the sky, the mountains, the lakes, the deposits in the earth, and the sea, or all animals and plants. The life principle gave birth to you, and all the powers, qualities, and attributes of God are within you. Come to a simple conclusion that everything you see and are aware of came out of the invisible mind of the infinite and that everything that man has invented, created, or made came out of the invisible mind of man. And the mind of man and the mind of God are one, for there's only one mind. That mind is common to all individual men. Everyone is an inlet and an outlet to all that is. Come now to a clear-cut decision that God is the source of your supply of energy, vitality, health, creative ideas, the source of the sun, the air you breathe, the apple you eat, and the money in your pocket. The second step, decide now to engrave in your subconscious mind the idea of wealth. Ideas are conveyed to the subconscious by repetition, faith and expectancy. By repeating a thought pattern or an act over and over again, it becomes automatic and your subconscious being compulsive, you will be compelled to express wealth. 
The pattern is the same as learning to walk, swim, play the piano, type, or drive a car. You must believe in what you're affirming. It's not mumbo jumbo, it's not idle affirmations. You must believe in what you're affirming like you believe that when you put seeds in the ground they grow after their kind. And the seeds are thoughts deposited in your own subconscious mind. I've seen more people go to bed and I've seen wake up with millions of dollars. I've seen it for over since I've been in town. Some of the dumbest motherfuckers, but they're consistent about what they want. It's the easiest thing in the world to make money. You have to follow through with yourself. I said, come rappers are rich. You saw these motherfuckers can't even spell rap when they drive around and get these on the side because they go straight to their subconscious. Once it goes to your subconscious, it's going to happen. Anything you want, you're going to get. That's how come Muhammad Ali and Tiger Woods, it is prime don't lose shit because they're confident. Once it's in the subconscious, you're going to win. Don't care how big the motherfucker is. David and Goliath, they weren't real people. It was just a synopsis of what you can do with your brain. Like Jesus, go to the world and drink water. That has nothing to do with going to the world and pulling water out and drinking. But most go to most churches. Jesus said, go to the water, well, drink from the water. When Muhammad Ali lost all of his fights, his bio rhythm is at its lowest. When he won everything, he was taking energy, taking his energy. You can walk into a room, you like that person, you don't. All that can be calculated. That's what I do. Before algorithms, I am a walking algorithm. I tell people when to make, make their move. But help me, they pay me for going to Vegas and sit beside them while they gamble. Everything is energy. There's no such thing as luck. You just go there and win a horse race. No, no, that doesn't exist. Everything is fucking physics. I'm in the quantum physics. I see you getting a 7-Eleven Slurpee, and it's great. I don't do that, boy. Dang. Well, that was another episode. I track creepy TikToks. I appreciate all the I track fan, man, for, for blowing the channel up. Hey, for spamming that like button, for spamming that subscribe button. I appreciate all that, man. Uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.